In some cases, you might need to protect an Excel workbook so as to prevent others from performing actions such as adding or deleting worksheets, rearranging or renaming worksheets, or hiding or unhiding worksheets. In these cases, you should take advantage of Excel workbook protection options. To protect a workbook, select Protect Workbook, Protect Structure and Windows on the Review tab of the ribbon. Select the options desired, enter a password, and click OK. Confirm the password and click OK again. Note that checking the structure option prevents users from taking the following actions. Viewing worksheets that are hidden, moving, deleting, hiding or changing the names of worksheets, inserting new worksheets or chart sheets, moving or copying worksheets to another workbook, displaying the source data for a cell in the data area or displaying report filter pages on separate worksheets in pivot table reports, creating a scenario summary report for scenarios, and using the analysis tools from the analysis tool pack that place results on a new worksheet. Checking the Windows option prevents users from taking the following actions. Changing the size and position of the windows for the workbook when the workbook is opened and moving, resizing, or closing a window. You should keep in mind that Excel's workbook protection options do not have any bearing on whether users can enter or edit data in worksheets. If you are looking to protect data in specific worksheets, check out Excel's worksheet protection options instead. But if you are looking to secure various aspects of an Excel workbook, then take advantage of Excel's workbook protection settings. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.